today I'm here with another crochet tutorial so um, today I will be using some pre-curled hair I'm going to show you guys that later but first I want to talk about my braid pattern so this is pretty much the same braid pattern that I had in my previous crochet video if you have not checked out my previous crochet video check that out now the link will be down below so this is similar to that braid pattern I only changed one thing about it and I will show you that but I did uh, record how to get your braids to be close together so you won't have a wide part so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. This is a very important part when doing your crochet braids because it is the blueprint of how your hair is going to look. So you don't want any wide parts. And the way you avoid wide parts is to make sure that you braid your braids close together. You don't want that wide part. When your hair starts to grow, it will get wider. So you don't want to start out with a wide part to begin with. So in order to achieve the natural looking part, all I do is part a good amount of hair, gel the beginning part of my hair to make sure my edges will lay down. And I'm using a Gorilla Snot Gel because that's the only thing that works for my hair. I am natural, so that's what I have to use. And I slick mine back, you guys, because when your crochet braids start to get old and they grow out this will look like it's slicked down hair so uh it just looks more natural and i'll show you a picture um of my hair when i had wore it up it just looked really really natural to have that hair slicked down i don't want my braid to start like right here but i do want to make sure that i try to even up my braids I want them all to kind of begin at the same place. So when doing my Y parts, I tend to add a little bit of gel just to make sure that the part is very visible. I want it to be visible, but I don't want it to be wide. So you do want to be able to see your scalp. So sometimes I have hair that is different lengths and it creates a new growth type of look. So to make my part more distinct, I just put a little gel on it. closer to this over here than this over here. together it's more hair on this side than it is on this side it's more hair on this side than it is on this side so my braids are as close as they can be so now all I'm going to do is get another piece of Conecalon hair and connect this so it will be a wide braid
all right so i decided to braid the braids together and to tack it so i'll show you so i braided these together and then just tacked it down to the bottom row and then i took i took this braid and tacked it here and tacked it here so it would give me a braid across so I would be able to add more hair in the front. And I did the same thing for over here. Flipped it up, tacked it here, and I tacked it here. So here's the braid pattern. Um, I will be able to wear in a ponytail if I would like to. That's why I slightly altered the braid pattern. to start my crochet. The hair I will be using today is Free Tress Braid 2X Wand Curl. So the 2X is supposed to be two packs of hair in one. I did purchase four and I could not find this hair anywhere in the beauty supply stores. I live in Los Angeles so I drove to several different beauty supply stores and could not find the hair whatsoever so i did end up ordering it offline and i will leave the link down below the total was about 42 dollars um so uh, that was you know a pretty decent price to me it's supposed to be two packs in each so technically i have eight packs so um yeah i'm going to test that out so it is pre-curled hair it is synthetic hair so it should be similar to marley hair it's just already pre-curled ladies and this is after half a pack and I did split these in half so for the other half of the pack I did not split these in half I just installed them as they came in the pack to start my wide braids so I am going to split them now and I am going to start the invisible crochet braids so instead of looping double strands you'll loop one strand so I'm going to split it and to help control the frizz all you have to do it's kind of pulled it with your hand and it kind of whips it back in place for the most part. Now excuse this fan y'all type. Let's do that.
say that I like this hair so far and I did install it today so I can't give a review on it yet but um, so far I do like this hair it is soft it's not heavy at all I am going to monitor this hair and I will do a maintenance and update video to let you guys know how well the curl lasts and um, if there's tangling if there's a lot of shedding um, anything like that so I will do an update video soon don't forget to like this video subscribe and don't forget to follow me on instagram my name is deandra nay i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching